Welcome. Time now to take a look at a risk event for the week starting Monday the 4th of September. And for this, we're joined by Zane Bowder, who's joined us now from our Johannesburg newsroom. Uh, Zane, what do you got for us? Uh, let us know more about the, the trade you're looking at. Uh, hi, Jeremy. Thank you for having me, sir. Uh, the risk event I will be focused on in the week ahead will be the Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision with a potential long position on Euro Australian dollar. Now, obviously, looking at the RBA's position heading into the meeting, and we have obviously seen significant progress on the inflation front with uh, the recent inflation print coming in below the 5% mark for the first time since the highs of uh, December 2022. Now, obviously, that coupled with a slight decrease or a slight increase sorry, in unemployment as well as the current situation in China, I do expect the RBA to keep rates on hold at the upcoming meeting. Now, in contrast, if we look at the ECB's position, yesterday we did have ECB and euro area inflation data, and obviously we saw a slight uptick there in terms of the headlining figure as well as the month-on-month -month figure, even though we saw a slight drop-off in the core inflation number. Now, that also, we did hear some comments from ECB members who do feel that they are approaching the peak rate, however, they're not there yet. So I do think that we still will get at least one more rate hike from the ECB before the year is out. And obviously, looking at that picture on the macro side, I do think that there is still potential upside for Euro Aussie um, looking ahead. So, I mean, if we can take a look quickly at the chart and see what the technicals are telling us. Um, I mean, if we look at the technicals here, we can see that we have been, you know, staircasing our way higher since the lows of August 2022. And, you know, making higher highs and higher lows up until two weeks ago when we reached the year to date high around the 170.60 mark. Obviously, since then, we are seeing a slight retracement here, which is something I actually prefer. I'm looking for a bit of a deeper retracement next week ahead of that RBA decision and potentially looking at that 50% FIB retracement level or potentially a bounce off that ascending trend line again, which would obviously provide the best risk to reward opportunity for potential longs. Now, obviously, having said that, like I say, I do think this is a really interesting opportunity. I would be looking for fresh highs to in weeks. And obviously, this is what I will be focused on in the week ahead. Zane, thanks so much indeed. Uh, that's a risk event for the week starting Monday, the 4th of September.